Hello, educators. One quick question. Is your grade book accurate? Now, before we begin, if you're wanting to see a specific video on a topic related to online course building or a platform, be sure to leave it in the comment section below. Now, jumping right into it, I'm going to show you something I see each and every single day. Being an instructional designer at a university, I jump into a lot of courses and I help faculty with their student issues and their course content. I see this setting not set every single day, which is very important to how your grade calculates to the final total of that 100%. If you have this setting in your course, let's make sure that you have it set correctly. Let's take a look. Jumping into a course, I have a unit with some assignments. I do have some extra credit things available. I did make a video about extra credit. If you want to check that out, I will link it into the description. But for right now, we're looking at on my unit, I have several assignments, quizzes, and tests. They all have point values associated with them, and students have gone in here and completed these assignments. Now, if I go to the Gradebook tab in Blackboard Ultra, I'm going to see all of these assignments on the gradable item page. But down here at the bottom, it says set up the overall grade. If I go to my student list here in this sandbox, I can see that my students don't actually have a grade in the course. That's because I have not set up the overall grade for this particular course. I can do that by clicking this button, or I can also go to this gear icon over on the right and scroll down to the setup overall grade setting. I can click on this box. Either way, it's going to take me to a page that asks me, do I want to use points, weights, or advanced? Now, I can always change this when I go into my course. So I just go ahead and hit next. As the gradebook loads up, I can see that I have categories. Within these categories, I have particular items. I have points available to those categories. I do have weights that I can set it to for percentages. I can go in here and set my percentages. But as you see, all of these percentages are just an even distribution of this 100% for this course. I want to go and make sure that my assignments are worth 30% of my grade. So if I type in 30% in that box and I hit lock, that means I'm not going to be able to change that. Now I can go back in and say that my discussions are worth 20% of my grade. I can go in here and lock that as well. And now I can move through my items to make sure that my grade is actually calculating. If I don't use percentages, I can click to exempt that. I don't use homework or exams, so I can exempt that. And you can see that it is now calculating, again, an even distribution with the 30 and the 60% for these categories. I don't give attendance points, but I do give tests, and tests are worth 20% of their total grade. I can go in and set that and lock it. I do have my quizzes set to 10%. I can lock that. And my journals, I'm going to make 5%. I can lock that. Now, you can see the only one that's left over is my extra credit. But extra credit is something that I do need to exempt in order for that calculation to work. So I'm going to exempt that. It now gives me an error that says I need to make this a total of 100% for my course. I am missing 15% for my course. So now I know I need to go back in and say maybe my journals are worth a little more at 10% and lock that. And maybe my quizzes are a little more at 15% and lock that. In order to make that even 100, I want to go in and make my test worth 25, which is 10% more than my quizzes, and I can lock that. Now I've reached that 100%. The next step that I need to do is make sure that I'm displaying this as a percentage that is the most accurate grade for students. If I do points, that means that they're going to see all of these points out of 2,000 or 3,000 points that you have in your course. It doesn't necessarily make sense. I want to go ahead and make sure that it says percentage, and I want to show the student and hit save. Going back to my gradebook tab, looking at my students, I can see that now my students are calculating correctly. I do have an 87.5 on my student preview mode, so it is calculating to that 100%, and I know that my grades are calculating according to the percentages that I set. 
Now that you know that you have to set up your gradebook in order for it to calculate correctly, jump into your courses and make sure that your students have the most accurate grade. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel for more tips and tricks on building the class online. Thanks for watching.